Today we're gonna turn this mess into this. And we're gonna do so by isolating the individual sounds within these three loops. Almost every time I find a drum loop I like, I quickly find something I wish I could take out. I've spent hours EQing and chopping to try and transform loops into what I hear in my head. Today, I think I finally found a tool that will make this way easier. I have this loop here, and what I want to do is take the hi-hats out and replace them with hats from another loop. Here's what the loop sounds like. I'm going to throw this drum SSX plugin on top and show you guys how to isolate the sounds. What you get is a mixer with pre-dedicated channels for generic drum sounds. The plugin was intended for acoustic drums, but I think it works just as well on electronic drums. It even works pretty well on melodic percussion sounds, which I'll show you a little later on. All you need to do is loop the most isolated part of each drum and click the learn button on the corresponding drum channel. Because there's no tom sounds in this loop, I'm gonna turn those two channels off. I'll start with the kick and hit the learn button on the kick channel as it plays. Next, I'll loop a snare. Let's learn the hats. Now everything should be isolated. I'll try muting the kick. I can still hear a little bit of the kick, so I'm just going to adjust the separation type from weak to hard. I'm going to try out medium smoothing. That sounds way better. All right, I'm gonna mute the hats now and unmute the kick and snare. Before I resample them, I'll show you a few dope things. Not only can you separate the drums in here, you have full EQ control for each drum, transient and saturation control in the dynamic section. And now back in the volume section, you can pan each sound as well as adjust the level. I'm gonna resample the kick first. The cool thing about this is now I have the kick groove isolated and can easily make my own changes. I think I'm gonna move a couple of these around. And next, I will resample the snare. Now, as you can see, it did pick up a bit of the hi-hat information, so I'll just cut that out. Now, let's use a different loop to add some hi-hats. Here's what the loop sounds like. I might leave the snare in there as a layer. I'm gonna throw another drum SSX on. I'll turn off the toms again and switch it to hard separation. Now I'll loop around the kick and hit learn. Now I'll find a snare. And lastly, the hats. Let's see if we can mute the kick now. Nice. Let's try this out on a more melodic loop now. I'm gonna bring in a weird loop. I'm gonna bring in yet another drum SSX. I'll turn off the toms, switch it to hard separation, and let's start with the kick. And I guess I call this the snare. And I'll try and trick it into thinking the high end of this synth is a cymbal. 
I'm hoping this is going to get rid of most of the sounds except for the low end. Let's see what we got. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it thinks the high end is a symbol, just as I suspected. And we are left with... Okay, that's dope. I'm gonna just clean up a few of the squeaky clicks. And on this first sound here, it sounds a little out of key to me. I'm gonna bring it up a couple semitones and try to tune it. I'll just duplicate this over here. Cool. Now we have a pretty sick beat. I just want to spice it up a little bit, so I'm going to throw on a few effects and let's check it out. So dope. I've been looking for a plugin like this for Ever. I will see you muffins next week.